Hi everyone, let's begin pie chart in our studio. So first of all, I would like to open a file, same file on that file I was working pre in previous video. So from Excel, we have to browse and uh, this file is put it here in my, and otherwise there is the one more way I would like to tell you that way also, how you have to open that file. So I'm opening up that particular file. Excel sheet, this R underscore file, I'm going to open and I would like to import this file. So now you can see this file is open and R underscore file 371 observations, 23 variables. So today what we have to do, we will create this kind of pie chart along with the percentage. So now I will start and now what is the, I'm deleting this because uh, I would like to create this pie chart over here. One more thing here is you have to press here files, then whatever is the file is available over there and you can open that file in this. Uh, here is you can open this file. So now what we have to do, we have opened this file. Now I want to create, this one is the gender is available over here. And there's the two kinds of, one is male, another one is female, right? So I would like to create a pie chart uh, in this R studio, right? So what I have to do, first of all, I have to, I want to see, one by one we are going to start we will type here gender right and uh, gender we want to create a variable over here as i said earlier also here so directly we could be able to use this variable so r underscore file this is my file name right and dollar then i would write gender right you can see here, moment I had given this command, this gender is here, right? Update, uh, this is the character, right? So now what we have to do, what we will do, we will convert into as factor. So now gender, right, equal to, as I do remember. And today in my file, I will, I will attach a script also of this file, as well as I will attach uh, this excel sheet also data file also so this one is the factor right and uh, where this 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 variable is uh, i mean where this particular factor is written over there r underscore file and then we will press dollar and what it will opt in this file that is gender right so i will press right enter so now you can see here this gender earlier it was character and now it is converted into factor it is a categorical variable correct now what i have to do now i want to create let's say pi right Up now suppose you would like to see okay i want to create pi chart so i will write pi and what I have to write, gender, error. Why it has given error? Because first of all, you have to create table. You have to create table, right? And then you will write gender. Now you can see how female, Total number of the females out of this 371, 146 female and 225 male. Correct. Now, what we have to do, we will put this particular file in a variable. So we will create again a variable. Here is, let's say we are saying frequency gender. Frequency gender. And now I will put, this one is the table and I will write gender, right? Now you can see here, this is the frequency gender. So this 
table new variable is created over here and this table value are put in this variable name of this variable is frequency gender now what i have to do now if i will create pie chart so it would be visible so pie then i will write here this variable name what is this variable name this variable i had given frequency gender you can see here frequency gender this is the variable name and i will write a moment i will click here now you can see now you can see this variable is visible this pie chart is visible you can see female and male now what i have to do i would like to give title name to this particular pie chart you can see i mean when you have to zoom so this pie chart you can see in that way and now i would like to give title name to this pie chart so how i have to give let's we have to give this command again acha this is a beauty of this r when you have to press upper arrow so you can see here i had pressed upper arrow to same this command is copied over here right so now the in the same command i would like to modify pi frequency gender this is my variable name where this table, where this variable we i had put it and now i will write main main correct main equal to then i would say this inverted commas and what i want to give this name let's say i am i would like to give name male male female ratio male female ratio correct and then i would press enter a moment i had press enter now you can see male female ratio that is title of this pie chart is reflecting over here correct now again rather than again typing this command i would press upward arrow so now you can see here now the prompt is here so now i have to do i would like to give color to this particular pie chart so what i have to do i will write color right so color and c means combined and i want to give color let's say i want to give 4 and 5 i'm sure so let's see what will happen now you can see now you can see these are the colors there's the lots of colors are available in this r studio i had given coding 4 and 5 so this color is i mean color of the pie chart is this right ab suppose you want to copy this pie chart simply you have to go to export save as image also save as pdf also but i prefer copy to clipboard so i have to copy plot and this is i would put it in my word document anywhere i want so i have to put it in my word document right so now what we have to do and uh, now further rather than ratio i would like to see here that should be in the form of the percentage it should be reflected because it doesn't mean anything like through this pie chart i could not be able to uh, know what is the female percentage and what is the male percentage so what i have to do now i would create here is i would write percentage right percentage equal to and i would write round right round base and after that where is all these things are put it uh, i mean i mean we i had put it this one is the frequency gender so what i have to write frequency gender i would click here and after that 
it would be divided by how many, what is the total sample size is 371 and it could be multiplied by 100. Correct. So now when I would press enter, right? And now I can see this one is the percentage and I would write press enter. So you can see here 39% are female and 61% are male. Agree. But I want to see this percentage in the form of the, I would like to give percentage sign also, right? And that should be reflected here. Female, right? Along with female, that should be written 39% and along with male, they should be written 61%. So what should I, what I have to give LBL? Let's say I had created label, right? And uh, let's say uh, I would say um, level equal to I have to write paste, right? This is the paste and what names, right? This is the names. Now. Where this file frequency gender, and after that, I have to give comma, then I would write where is this percent, right? P E R C E that is written here, right? And after that, I want percentage sign also, correct. And after that, what I have to do, I will give comma and that should be separated, right? That should be separated and I will give this is and I would give space. So now I would press enter. So now when I will press LBL and Enter. So it is reflecting like that female 39% and male 61%. See, whatever the space I had given here, that is reflecting. Correct. So what I will do now again, I have to create a new pie chart. And what I have to do, I would write, there is, I would write frequency gender. And what I will do main, right, main. And after that, I would say title of this chart because I would like to give male and female percentage. Percentage. I would like to title of this chart is male and female percentage. Then I would press enter. C. Look at here, I would zoom it. Male and female percentage, right? It is reflecting here. Now, what I have to do, I want to give color. I want to change color also. So simply I would press upper arrow. And now here is, after this, I would like to give comma. Then I would write color, see all color. And here is, C and I would like to give let's say uh, color is let's say six seven correct you can see here this color is change now this is my new pie chart now I want this percentage should be reflected over here level should also be reflected. So what I will do, again, I will take, I will, I, I had pressed upper arrow and now one more thing I would like to add after this color, give comma, right? And I will say levels, levels. And levels, you can see here, L, V, L. That is put it there. Percentage. So see, moment I have to give this, you can see here now female are 39%. That is reflecting in the form of the percentage. 
and males are you can see i can bigger this one female 39 percent and male 61 percent that is reflected over here now again what i have to do i will copy this and simply you have to go there export copy to clipboard right and copy plot and you can paste wherever you want so i'm sure this pie chart would be helpful to you how we have to these are the some basic things i'm going because uh, that is very very important first we should understand a for apple b for ball c for cat and after that we have to uh, create some words right c a t cat right and a uh, after that, we are framing sentence. The same strategy we are following here. First, we would like to understand small, small commands. Then after that, we have to move towards the complicated things because all the statistical analysis we have to do. And in this video, I had given this information how you have to create pie chart. But definitely, I am going to give you in the next video some statistical analysis like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, how we have to calculate. Right. So I'm sure this video would be helpful to you. Thanks. Keep watching. Thank you.